In this video, I'm going to rewrite a email script that one of my students actually sent over. So I'm going to show you exactly what I told him to rewrite, what I told him to put focus on. So you guys can obviously use it yourself, um, which I definitely don't recommend. But so you guys kind of get a sense into how we write our email templates, essentially what we put focus on when we are writing emails and how we essentially do email outreach. Now, this guy is one of my students and he's a total beginner. So it should help a lot of you guys out because I know a lot of you are also just starting your social media marketing agency, or maybe you're already started, but wanted to scale it up from maybe one to two clients and get it up to anywhere from eight to 10 clients. So I'm going to show you exactly what I told him to do and exactly what I told him to put focus on in his niche, which is car motive and essentially how I rewrote his whole script so that obviously he could get success with his email template. So I'll just be sharing my screen, going into a Google Doc, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I thought when I rewrote this script for him. So hopefully you'll learn a thing or two about this video, and hopefully you can use these types of tips yourself so you can help yourself out and scale your own marketing agency. Let's jump straight into the video. So as I said, I wanted to just quickly go through a script that one of my students in the agency Kickstarter course sent over to me and asked me to basically give him some feedback on so that he can book more calls for his agency. So essentially, I want to kind of tell my thoughts as I read this script through kind of give you the feedback that I gave him and kind of explain to him, you need to do this instead of doing this. So as you can see, this guy is in automotive and he's basically helping them get more deals closed through Facebook and Instagram ads. So what he basically said is, hi client, my name is Michael and I'm the owner of Level Up Media. We specialize in social media marketing for the automotive industry and have helped numerous car dealers and repair shops increase their online presence and generate leads through social media. I noticed you're not in the automotive industry and thought you might be interested in learning more about how we can help your business grow through social media marketing. We have a proven track record of success and would love the opportunity to work with you. Are you open to a brief call to discuss how we can help your business reach its full potential on social media? Best regards. So this is the script that the guy came up with. Um, and it's actually not bad. The main problem with it, and I'm going to be very, very clear, and I also said this to Michael, is that essentially it is 90% of it is bullshit. And what I mean by that is 90% of it doesn't really matter. The client do not care about, firstly, what is it that he specializes in? They don't care. They don't care about what is it that you're doing. As soon as they hear these three words, immediately, I promise you, they're gonna close down the email because they know you're gonna try and sell them something. What you need to understand when you're sending out emails is that the guy the owner you're reaching out to likely have five, six, seven seconds and you need to catch his attention like that. You need to have his attention. You need to pitch him something that sounds so good to be true that he needs to reply. That is the only th focus you need to have on when you're writing emails. So the next thing I told him is this, have helped numerous car dealers and repair shops. The main problem with this is that this sounds like fake. It sounds fake. If I told you I've helped numerous clients, you do not seem to be like speaking facts. It seems like you don't know what to say. So you're just saying numerous. You don't really have any deals. You don't really have any clients. You don't really have any results. So you're just saying something. Then it comes down to this. If there's one thing owners, business owners don't understand, it is online present they don't understand why they should even do it. And as soon as they hear generate leads through social media, they immediately think that sounds like a big struggle and that sounds like something that takes time and money. I'm not interested. So that's the problem with this one. The, like you can introduce yourself. Of course, I understand if you want that, but in the end, the owner doesn't give a fuck. 
that's that's just reality. I'm sorry, but it is. The next part. I noticed that you're in the more automotive industry and thought you might be interested in learning more about how we can help your business grow through social media. This right here. Firstly, he has never asked you to actually reach out to them. So you don't know if he's actually interested. And why would I be interested when you obviously don't ask me what you can do for me? You're saying I can get more leads, but you are not telling me how many. You're not telling me how much it costs. You're not telling me what will it mean for my business. You're just saying that you saw that I was in automotive and you thought you could be my next client, so I'm going to reach out to you. That is what the business owner is thinking. He's not thinking, wow, this sounds great. Let me jump in. He's thinking, so you saw I was a potential lead, so you decided to reach out to me, and now we're sitting here, and I'm not going to reply to you because there's absolutely zero of what you're saying that makes any sense for me to invest my time and money in. That's the problem. This right here, again, it's the same as I said before. Track record of success. If you had success, mate, then just send over some numbers that I can look at. That's the problem. You're, you're being way too, like, you're, it's, it's too big. It's too, you're not putting in a direct message that makes sense, that shows them exactly, this is what I can do, this is the numbers you will be getting, and if not, you will get this. This is the problem with this script. And I also told Michael, I told him, there's some problems. There's way too much bullshit information that the business owner do not care about. It's way too personal. Cut down to the chase. The, the real good cheese. The thing that business owners would sit and just, they would, they would be so eager to answer yes that they, they can't even read the email fast enough. You need to frame it like that. So, would love the opportunity to work with you. Who have spoken anything about working with me? Again, you're already asking him to jump on board. You're already asking him. What you're saying here behind the lines is, Hi, found your business. Let's work together. I only cost $1,500 per month. And you will get incredible results. I promise you that. And if you don't, then that's just too bad. That is what you're saying. So this right here, it's all right, but it's still, the call to action is awful. Are you open to a brief phone call to discuss how we can help your business reach its full potential on social media? Full potential on social media. They don't care about social media. They don't care about full potential. They care about, can I make more money? How much does it cost? What happens if I don't make any more money? That is what they are about. They do not care about reaching their full potential on social media. You're reaching out to people who is in automotive. They don't even know what social media is. So I told him, I told Michael, I said, listen, it's all right, but there's way too much information that's total nonsense, that doesn't give any sense, that doesn't make any sense for you to actually use. There's no reason why you would put that in. And I rewrote it. Essentially, what did I do? So straight to the point, hi client, I just checked out where he found them and wanted to reach out. We have developed a system for automotive that allows us to scale your appointment and leads, whatever, like whatever they're trying to actually achieve, if that's leads or appointments, let's say it's leads. We have, a, we have developed a system for automotive that allows us to scale your, appoint, your leads um, with 25% inside 90 days. If the system does not increase your leads by 25% with inside 90 days, everything is free. I wanted to hear if this is worth exploring in 2023. You can also, the reason why we wrote this is essentially because it's just 2023. What you can also say is you can also say, um, wanted to know if it is worth sending or hearing more slash hearing more information. So essentially you're asking him, do you want me to send over more information? And then best regards. And then PS, if you're not satisfied with the service, you get a full refund, no question asked. Why does this work? Well, firstly, straight to the chase. What does what is it you have developed and what does it mean for me? Okay, I get it. It means that I get, I increase my business with 25% inside 90 days, otherwise I don't pay. All right? I want that. I want to scale my business without having any risk on my side. All right. Well, what happens if I don't? Well, if you don't increase your sales with 25%, everything is free. You don't have to ask any questions. And then don't ask him to jump on a call with you. Just ask them, 
is it okay if I share more information or is it worth exploring the option or is it worth hearing more about it or can I send over this and that? Do not send a link. Do not put in a link. Do not try, is it worth having a call? Do not ask them to jump on a call with you. Just ask them very politely, is it okay if I send you some more information? R round it up, say best regards, your name, blah, blah, blah. And then simply just say one of your other guarantees. The reason why we do it like this with Michael is because, firstly, he's just starting out. The reason why we're using this guarantee right here is because we leave it up to the human side of the lead. So now, if they're not happy with how Michael works, they're gonna ask for a refund. But 90% of people who works with a guy where they can generally see he is working a lot, they're not gonna ask for a refund. I spoke about it in some of one of my last videos. This is one of the best guarantees you can use if you're a total beginner. One of the best guarantees. You can always say if you're not happy, if you're not satisfied, if you don't like the results, you get a refund, no questions asked. But if you then show them how hardworking you are, you're sending them constant information, you're constantly switching it up, you're constantly updating them, they're gonna think this guy's working his ass off to help us. We don't want an, we don't want any refund. So now you're getting a client, you might not deliver the, the best results, but you have been straight up honest. You have been working your ass off to try and get him to them. So now you all of a sudden have a client where the client actually, it's up to the client whether or not they want to be a bad person. I'm not saying they're a bad person, but essentially that's what they're gonna feel like. This script is straight to the point, only numbers, focuses only on the numbers that is beneficial for the bleed, and it is straight to the point. If you want more information, just say yes. Just say yes, you don't have to do anything. I can read through this email, it would take me five seconds. Reason why? I only look at the numbers. People own, like, if you read this email, what would you look at? You see 25%, 90 days, you see increase, you see 25%, you see free, you see more information, you see not satisfied, full refund, no questions asked. You only see what you want to see. The brain only sees what it really wants to see, or the brain only reads what it really wants to read. And this is the main thing you need to understand is that if you can frame your email the right way, you can make sure that it's the right thing it's focusing on, you're gonna have a very, very good reply rate. Because people only care about what does it mean for me. You need to understand that we are the most egocentral person in the world. The only thing we care about is ourselves. It's the only thing we care about. That's it. Nobody else, nobody else but ourself. It's the same with a client. I don't know why people think a client is so different. Like, all of a sudden people think that if you write a, a five-side essay where you go through, this is where you live, this is your dog's color, this is your bedroom color, this is your dog's name, this is your daughter's best friend's best friend's aunt, they don't give a fuck. Like, you need to understand that they only care about numbers. Business is numbers, and business owners care about their business, and business is all about numbers, therefore the business owner cares about numbers. So why not focus on what they care about, which is numbers? And I promise you, focus on numbers, focusing on having a good offer, short and direct, check, case study, checked, or you can call this a case study. Of course, Michael is new, so it's not really a case study, but this is just a system. System, Check, guarantee, check. More information, check, guarantee again, check. Everything is filled out. No bullshit with this is your aunt's name or this is that and this and that. Very, very simple, direct to the point. If you want to get success as a beginner doing cold email, please sit down and look at what I just said. Look at the financial and the benefits on the side of the business owner and rewrite your whole email script on behalf of that. Focus on numbers. If you focus on numbers, you're gonna get success. Promise you. That's it for this video regarding email templates for a beginner. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about how to actually rewrite your whole email template if you're just starting out in SMMA. And as I've said in my other videos, business is all about numbers. 
focus on numbers and focus on the benefits for the business owner's side. That way you're 100% confident that they actually are going to reply with you and they're actually going to find your offer quite intriguing. That being said, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please remember to drop a like, a comment, and remember to subscribe. You can also join my Discord server where we are about to build up a huge community with SMMA, and we're doing weekly Q and A's where I'm answering all questions that people might have. So feel free to join that. And um, yeah, that being said, I'll see you in the very next YouTube video.